Okay, everybody, welcome back to Live With Me. I'm back with another video. And in this video, I am doing another DIY. So, I bought these face palettes from Adept Cosmetics. I bought all four of them because they were $22 each, but you can get all four for 60 something. So I saved my husband a little money. Do I did? You're welcome. So here are the palettes right here. Gianna. It has two beautiful highlights and a contour. Then we have Ayana, two blushes and a contour. Valentina, which are three blushes, beautiful. And then Stella, which are two blushes and a highlight. These highlights are just beautiful. But the DIY for today is going to be for, oops, for Ayana and Gianna because um, who won't do anything with this highlight? I mean, not highlight. Who is going to do anything with these contours? One does seem to be darker than the other, but it's still not dark now. So what I'm going to do is, because these are magnetic pans, I'm going to take these out and replace them. I can't remember who these are by, but I have two here, a contour and a, and a bronzer here that I'm going to crumble up and reassemble and put in here. So that's what we're going to do today. So I have the powder products, which I uh, they look a little bit wet right now because I just sprayed them with some sanitizer. I have my good old trusty 91% rubbing alcohol. I have my magnetizer remover. And I have my little pan thing here where I'm going to crumble up the product. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to replace that one with this one here. I mean, it's nice powder, but it's just, it ain't doing it for me, you know what I'm saying? So, so what I'm going to do is, all out. It's a shame, but it's not dark enough. Let's get all this out. I do hope one day they do something for darker skin tones, but this ain't it. This is not it. So now I'm going to crumble this mug up. And that's what I'm doing. You can do it with any powder products. Okay. So I'm getting these as small as I can. And it's a real shame because. I know like, I know that smaller brands can't get do all the colors, but they could have done one light and one dark. But I, I sincerely hope that they do it in the future. Cause these highlights, ooh wee. I'm gonna do another video later. 
swatching them and using them, but they are really nice. Really nice. I think these little pads here break the travel. And I like that they're interchangeable, they're magnetized, so you can switch things around. But I want everything in there to be something I can use, you know. Okay. So next I got this little dropper. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, I got this little dropper. And I'm gonna drop a few drops of the what is on here? Hmm. Turn this off a little bit. Use a little bit of this. couple of drops of this alcohol. I'm gonna drop it in here. Right, and then we're gonna stir it up. You don't want it to be too runny, but also not too goopy either. You gotta find a, a medium consistency. Stir it all up. I probably need some more because I'm sp spilling it all out here. And if you mess up and maybe put too much, this alcohol is just going to evaporate. So. Now let's see if I can flatten this out. This is the I think I should put some more powder in here. I don't think this is enough since a lot of those um, fell out. Let's put a little bit more in here. Hold on, I'm gonna drop it. I wish I had something that can go on top of this and flatten it out nice and good, but I do not, so I have to. I still feel like I can put some more powder in here, but. Cause it still look kind of flat. Let's put some more powder in there, okay? Child, this is not going to be the prettiest powder. Oh, look. 
to connect. It's not going to be the prettiest part, okay? That one is fitting there. Oh. Hmm. Ugh, that's ugly. What can I press it with? Look at my hands. Ooh. So I add just a little bit more alcohol in here and try to smooth it up a little bit. So it looks so yucky. Oh, we'll see what it looks like when it dries. And this is how much I used. And this is the one that's going in. So, we'll see how long it takes to dry. Alright, y'all. It's been like over an hour. I'm back. And this is like... It's not the prettiest powder, but, hmm, I mean, it's still, it still does what it needs to do, so, I'm not doing the other one. I think I'm going to see if I can find a powder this size and just put it in there, because, no, this is ugly, but, hey, this is this is more usable for me than uh, that light powder. So, I don't know, and maybe I can repress it and use something else to make it flat, more flat looking, because that's ugly. But this palette now is more, is more appealing to me versus with that light powder. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. And that's my DIY. I'm not gonna call it a fail. I'm just gonna say, hey, better luck next time. All right, y'all, thanks for watching.